Good afternoon and welcome to your science review with Mr. Blaze. Today we're working a word problem from our class earlier today, so let's get started. Okay, We've already written up our knowns, so the next thing I'd like to do is start by drawing my free body diagram. We have our little cube and we're adding in our forces. Our first force is FP for push. I'm adding in our angle as well. Next is the force of gravity pointed down, our normal force pointed up, and our frictional force pointed off to the left, FK. Now, in order to figure this problem out, we're going to have to figure the Y and X components of our force at that angle. Our Y component is going to be equal to the force push times the sine of our angle theta, or 425 times the sine of 35.2 degrees. That gives us 244.98 newtons. Similarly, for our x component of force, we're going to do the same thing, but FP times the cosine of 35.2 degrees. When we punch this in, this gives us 347.29 newtons. Now we have enough information to start our summation equations. Let's add up our Y forces first. We're going to add FG, FN, and the Y component of FP. Okay. Now all of this will be equal to mass times our acceleration. But in this case, our acceleration is zero. So that all just gives us zero. Since we know the numbers for two of those forces, let's go ahead and plug them in. 244.98 for the Y component of FP plus our FG. Equals our FN in this case, because since they are zero, they're going to be balanced out by our normal force, and since they're in the opposite direction, we have a, norm a normal force of 569.98 newtons. Next, we're going to do the X component of our force by adding up all of our X's. This includes the X component of force push and the kinetic friction force. Again, we were told this was at a constant velocity, so our acceleration is zero. We know the number for our FPX, which is 347.29 newtons, which means it'll be perfectly balanced out by our force of friction. But we were asked to find our mu k, our coefficient of friction. So let's go ahead and write down our mu k equation, which is our force of friction is equal to our coefficient of kinetic friction times our normal force. Now if we divide both sides by our normal force, we end up with mu k equals fk divided by fn. We know all those numbers now. So we have our fk, 347.29 newtons, divided by our normal force, 569.98 newtons. The newtons cancel out and we end up with a dimensionless coefficient mu k is equal to 0.61. Now I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in class.